So during the millennial reign of Christ, there's going to be a time period there when there's going to be perfect peace upon the earth where Christ will reign and rule. There won't be any hard liquor sold. There won't be uh, any fighting or rioting. Anybody that commits a crime of any sort be executed. I mean, it's going to be a theocracy with uh, angels overseeing, with uh, resurrected saints and glorified bodies ruling and reigning over cities uh, who have uh, gifts of understanding and teleportation and travel and uh, wisdom and divine uh, knowledge and mind. So there's no way anyone can get away with anything during the millennial reign of Christ. It'll last a thousand years and there will still be people in natural bodies. Now you and I will be in supernatural bodies like Christ was after his resurrection, not capable of sickness, death, disease, or temptation. But there'll be people who survive the tribulation, Jews, uh, and there'll be Gentiles, uh, Gentile nations. In the book of Matthew, it speaks of God dividing the sheep from the goats and the nations and placing them in the millennium. It talks about the, the apostles. He said that those of you that have been faithful with me in the regeneration, he said, you will sit on 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. He said that he'll grant us to rule over one city, two cities, five cities, 10 cities based on our faithfulness. So there'll definitely be a, a thousand year theocracy, a kingdom, kingdom of heaven upon the earth where God will rule and uh, be people in natural bodies that survived who will have babies. The Bible said the streets of the city should be full of boys and girls playing. So the millennium will have lots of children in it. Now, at the end of that thousand years, think about it, you've had people who were in a Garden of Eden paradise, not permitted even the temptation that Eve had and Adam had when they were in the Garden of Eden. And uh, they've, they're all outwardly Christians. They're all outwardly faithful believers in God. They've all been consistent with the kingdom for a thousand years. But the fact is, outward circumstances doesn't make a pure heart. And so at the end of the millennium, God is going to release Satan so that he can perform a task of separating again the sheep from the goats. Now, the way he's going to do that is he's going to go up and he's going to work in the spirits and hearts of men all over the whole world. And he's going to tempt and woo them. He's going to tell them that if they will march with him, and of course it won't be Satan in a fleshly body, it'll be some character, some figure, some personality that's prominent and well-known in the millennium, maybe a mayor, a president, or head of some country. And uh, he will promise the people that they will be able to take Christ off the throne in Jerusalem and set up their own uh, kingdoms and have more liberty and more freedom. In other words, he'll offer them a, a left-wing, socialist, progressive, liberal society where they have more freedom to indulge the flesh. And there'll be a large number of people, a uh, great, great number of people who will uh, buy into it, say, yeah. And they'll march against Jerusalem. They'll come in by the hundreds and thousands and maybe hundreds of thousands and millions. They'll come against Jerusalem. And the Bible tells us that when they surround the throne there, it's not too big a do. God just, fire comes down from heaven, wipes them out. And so the earth has been purged of sinners who, not sinners outwardly, but sinners in their heart. 